Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chaos Prophet, and today I want to talk to you about Payday 2 DLC. Now, there has been talk that it's going to come out in August for all the free DLC, or just any DLC, for Payday 2 for the console. Uh, PC has definitely gotten all of their DLC on time, uh, although, you know, <laughs> they have to pay for it, a lot of it. Uh, which is fine. I would be fine with paying for DLC if Overkill actually made it for us. But it's been 400 plus days. That is unacceptable and that is ridiculous. I don't know why you think that is allowed. Any other company that is in the gaming industry wouldn't be allowed to do this. I, I don't know what's wrong and I don't know why you guys are screwing up. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me that you can't get out any DLC. And I know on your last status update that you said that you're working on a way so that it can synchronize the PC with the, with the console version. And that's fantastic and that's great, but maybe you should show some of that. Uh, you did show some gameplay. That's fine on uh, Point Break or, or whatever it was. And that's awesome, but you need to show what you're actually working on because you said that you're not going to do another status update until that's done. And it just seems like you're not really trying. You're not really communicating. And when people ask you questions on Twitter, you don't really, really give them an answer. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. Uh, and, and either way, 400 plus days for DLC... Like I've said in my other videos, my past videos, if you want to check them out, you can. Uh, they have some good information on them. But either way, it it's saddening. It's really saddening to see this because you're a you're a, a pretty good company and you make a good game and you make good DLC and you continue to put out content for at least PC. If you did it for console, you'd be one of, considered one of the best developers uh even though you don't talk that often to your people you still put out content low pricing you continue to tweak and manage the game even though the game has been out for two plus years you continue to do that so you'd be one of the best developers if you actually treat everybody with the same respect and everybody the same and you don't and it doesn't make any sense that a company can really get away with this. If you continue, no one's going to buy your next games. Doesn't matter what it is. The Walking Dead, another Payday, or, you know, Payday 3, doesn't matter. You're not going to get customers, especially on console, because you fucked them over so badly. I, I, I just don't understand. People are saying to me, and if, if it's what it's tr true, if it comes out true, that... In August, we're going to get the DLC. And honestly, it should have been a few months ago, at least. And it wasn't. And it's it's just ridiculous. I think it took them five to six months to actually fix the Xbox One problems of matchmaking and a few other things. Really? It took you that long to go, okay, we don't know what we're really doing. And they claim that they didn't know that it, the infrastructure was different than the uh, Xbox 360. I mean, come on, really, guys? Really? You're going to just throw that out? It's not a great excuse, and I don't know why you're using it. But you need to fix this, and you need to fix this now. And you need to really apologize for what you've done. I've never really seen you guys really apologize, so you should do that. At least, I think you should. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This wasn't meant to be a rant, but, you know, 400 plus days, kind of hard not to be mad. This has been the Chaos Prophet saying don't get lost in the chaos. Later, guys, and be free.